Hello, my name's Josh and we're here at Tring and we've been talking about duck lamelle. So if you haven't seen that video, then do go check it out. But right now we're joined by the museum's Dr. Alex Bond, who is an expert in all things birds. Um, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about ducks um, and other um, wetland or watery birds and um, what they get up to. So first of all, hello, Alex. <laughs> hello, Josh, good to see you. Um, can we start by maybe explaining briefly, I mean, I think people will probably know what a duck in their pond looks like, but what actually is a duck and where do they fit in birds? What is a duck? <laughs> it's a duck. <laughs> um, so ducks like this uh, northern shoveler uh, are medium-ish size water birds. Uh, mm -hmm. They can be found in fresh waters, brackish waters, in the marine environment. Um, they're related very closely to geese. So we've got we've got a goose here. Such as this one. Um, and they're some of the uh, some of the earlier offshoots uh, of of birds when the when birds diversified. So they've been here for quite a long time. They have. Um, and you mentioned it then, but I think um, people at home might uh, obviously associate ducks and geese together. I mean, how are they? Is a duck a goose? Is a goose a duck? <laughs> <laughs> well, and then there's of course the uh, the goose ducks. <laughs> goose um, ducks. So uh, geese are uh, they're a little bit bigger. They tend to have a much shorter, stubbier bill, um, and yeah, a slightly different morphology. Okay. But they're pretty closely related. Big duck. Big duck. Um, and we were talking earlier about um, a duck lamellae. Um, some people think they're teeth, but they are not teeth. As no, we know. definitely not. Um, can you just, you've got some examples here to show us. Can you just show us exactly what duck lamellae are and how yeah, they yeah. work? They're, they're really brilliant. So ducks that uh, often pick up their food or something from the water um, will filter it out with these lamellae. It's a lot like baleen in a mm. whale. So uh, you can see on the side here, it's this little comb. Oh, it really is comb-like. Uh, on the side of the bill, on the shoveler. And this is a really great example of one. Yeah. And they're not teeth, birds don't have teeth. That's one of the adaptations they have to cut down on the weight so they can actually fly. And That's we can see that when we look at the skull of the shoveler. Oh wow, yeah. There's nothing underneath. <laughs> <laughs> Completely empty. <laughs> it's just absolutely <laughs> devoid of anything. Um, so yeah. Nice. And so, um, Ducks obviously feeding by, as you said, sort of filter feeding. Mm -hmm. um, what are other birds doing? How are other birds managing that? Yeah, it's a variety of things. So geese like this, uh, like this fine fellow here, mm -hmm. they go after uh, a lot of vegetation. Okay. And some of that might be uh, like grass on the side of a pond, um, but some of it might be aquatic vegetation. So again, it's used to basically keep the food in and, and push the water out. Right. Um, and you can see again on, on the underside of their bill. So oh, this yeah. is one with the lamellae still attached. You can sort of see the, the grooves there and that would have been matched on what's on the and underside. Sort of much more rigid than these ones. Exactly, exactly. And That's then cool. taking that to the extreme, we've got this lovely merganser. And this madam has these really sharp serrations on the bill. And these guys eat fish. So this is basically, uh, they're not, again, they're not teeth. I was going to say, you can see why people think they're teeth. Yeah, exactly. Um, but it's basically so that the fish doesn't slip out. And I guess hence why they're backward facing as well. Exactly, exactly. Nice. Um, but if I am correct, ducks aren't the only, aren't the only birds with lamellae. What other examples do we have from the rest of rest of the bird kingdom? The rest of the bird world. Bird world. <laughs> My favorite we've, world. We've got a couple of really great examples. So. Yeah. This, this one here, this is a prion. So this is a species that's related to albatrosses, petrels, mm. and shearwaters. So it's a seabird. Um, and the first thing you notice about this guy is the ridiculously wide. They have such weird shaped wide bills. bills. <laughs> you know, it's, it's really, it's very flat. It's very wide. It's unlike anything else. It's almost like a sh like shoe shaped, I guess, it isn't is, it? it? Yeah, it is, it is. And the common name uh, in some parts of the world for these guys are whale birds. Oh, that's cute. Um, because what they have inside, and this, mm -hmm. is, this is a skin, so we don't have it here to show you, but is a really muscular tongue that's probably the size of your pinky finger. Um, and on the underside, you can see these sort of ridges on the underside of the bill. Okay, yeah. These expand out like an accordion. So they oh. go after a bunch of water. It's just like a baleen whale. Mm -hmm. This expands and they use the tongue to push it out, and again, you can see lamellae just on the on the inside That's of the bill cool. here. So that under 
that pouch is that almost like almost like a pelican as well in that sense not quite like a pelican because this is um this isn't skin um this is sort of you know more attached to the more attached to the bill um you can see it on on the skull here mm -hmm. it would it would sort of cover this whereas a pelican sort of goes down the neck a little bit okay this is just really just restricted to that to that part of the bill wow so they are tilt feeding almost exactly like a whale almost exactly <laughs> like a baleen whale but it's a tiny bird. Exactly, tiny little things. But they eat the same thing. They're okay. eating krill in, in the southern oceans. Wow, that's amazing. Um, and then we've got, we can't talk about filter feeding without talking about flamingos. No. Nope. I mean, they're just properly weird. Um, especially this one that's been folded up very Marie Kondo. So delightfully yeah. neat. <laughs> <laughs> so flamingos very famously, they sweep their bill back and forth in, in legs, picking up again invertebrates. Um, which is why it's got this sort of, you know, decurved mm -hmm. bit. So this part would be sort of laying. So it's on the... putting its head upside down, basically. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So this would lay flat against the bottom or, or um, parallel to the bottom. And again, you can see the lamellae on the inside here. And it's mm -hmm. all it's all for the same purpose. It's to keep the food in and to get the water out. Get the water out. Uh, and when you look at their skulls, which are just <laughs> properly properly bizarre. They are so amazing, aren't they? So they would have this upside down, upside down. like that and sweep back and forth okay. and back and forth. But again, open up inside. <laughs> no teeth. No teeth. No lamellae. <laughs> no, exactly. Wow. Cool. And so the lamellae, presume, obviously they're not preserved in the skull, so they're made of, what are they made of? They're, they're made of keratin. Okay. So it's the same material that, uh, that the sheaths of the bills are made of. So if you look at this guy, at, mm -hmm. the, at the shoveler, it's, 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 the bill is black. Yeah. But on the bone, it's white. That's just a keratinous sheath. Okay. That's the same thing that gives puffins the really colorful bills that they have, for example, awesome. uh, or toucans. Mm -hmm. um, and that falls off. Okay. Um, and when they die and when we preserve them. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. And the lamellae are, are basically attached to that, and they're made of the same material. Mm -hmm. it, keratin, you know, it's the same thing that you know, makes our fingernails, it makes our hair, it makes bird feathers and bird claws. Wow, cool. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for sort of talking us through the different feeding strategies and the different not duck teeth lamellae. <laughs> That's my pleasure. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw and want to get some more natural history content, then don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel.